Ha. With rabbits in tap and friends We'll spread a smile, we'll spread some chesed And do it over and over again Come on along and meet the chevre It's rabbits in tap and friends We'll sing a song, we'll learn some lessons And do it over and over again With rabbits in tap and friends We'll spread a smile, we'll spread some chesed And do it over and over again Okay, gotta go, running late Uh, weren't you gonna make the cholent? Look behind you You're good Oh, uh, you know we're having guests tonight Chicken's in the oven. She's good. Oh, and uh, you know I'm not going back to Lomo Shabbos. You're going to be able to take care of everything? No problem. Great. I knew you could. He's coming back one more time. Oh, uh, can you remember to get soup nuts at the store? Soup nuts? Chat. Thanks. You're the best. Now get going before you're late. Bye. Eva, we're off to school. See you later. Wait a minute. What? Do you think you're leaving without giving your Ema a hug? Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. See you for Shabbos. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys, wait for me. Bye, I love you. Bye. Hello? Hi, it's me. Alishama, my friend. To what do I owe this pleasure? Since when do I need a reason to call? You are so right. It's been a really crazy week. I am so ready for Shabbos. Can I tell you? I love Shabbos. I love getting ready for Shabbos. I love Air Shabbos. I feel Shabbos, almost Shabbos, and the whole world is coming alive. Air of Shabbos, my nasham is ready to revive. Cooking chicken, time is ticking. Smells of Shabbos are filling the air. Making Shabbos, I am practically without a care. See the Emus taking their kids to gun. See the Amas heading to work. Ironing the shirts, whipping up desserts, pruning the bouquets, such a holy day. I love Shabbos, almost Shabbos. I can work on my scrubbing technique. Hair of Shabbos, the most wonderful time of the week. Shabbos, sounds of Shabbos, checking lettuce will get us to sing. Air of Shabbos, making music out of everything. Table setting, potatoes shredding, as we're helping our emails prepare. Air of Shabbos, I can hear the toilet paper tear. See the people put in their cholent on what cholent where? Who can Shabbos queen bee Which, what, where, who Mopping all the floors Books in the drawers Taking out the trash Think I'm gonna crash I love Shabbos Nearly Shabbos It's so sweetly Completely unique I love Shabbos The most wonderful time of the week I just love Shabbos I don't know about you But I gotta get to the grocery store Thanks. I got a whole list of last minute items. Let's go. Great. Okay, let's do it. Hi, Devora. Why, I'm all glad to see you two. I've got a shopping list a mile long. Join the club. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That depends. Did you bring your tap shoes? What are you talking about? Devora, we're going to get this shopping done together. All right. Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three, four items on the list. Five, six, seven, eight items on the list. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve items on the list. We're gonna shop for the shop is meal tonight. Well, we need some seltzer, some shampoo. Pretzel soup, not for records too. We're gonna shop for the shop is meal tonight. We're gonna shop before it's time to light. We're gonna shop, we're gonna shop for the shop is meal tonight. We need apples, carrots, and some squash, some gummy worms for Tonight. We're gonna shop before it's time to light. We're gonna shop, we're gonna shop for the sharpest meal tonight. How about some pizza and olive oil? Don't forget those tissues and aluminum. Shabbos meal tonight. We're gonna shop before it's time to light. We're gonna shop, we're gonna shop for the Shabbos meal tonight. We need bug free salad, apple juice, pickles, hummus, and baba ganache. We're gonna shop for the Shabbos meal tonight. We're gonna shop before it's time to light. We're gonna shop, we're gonna shop for the Shabbos meal tonight. Shop before it's time to light. We're gonna shop, we're gonna shop at the shop this meal tonight. Oh, I got a letter. Let's see who it's from. Dear Rabbits and Tap. My name is Ayelet Sorel. I'm 12 years old and live in Moshav Carmel. This is how my family gets ready for Shabbat. First, I clean up my room. I sweep up and I mop the floor. When I straighten up, I find lots of things I've been looking for. We all pitch in together to help get ready for Shabbat. My father does a lot in the kitchen on Friday. We bake special pitas using a special oven. My sisters and I like to make challahs in three, four, or six braids and make a flower shape using round pieces. I like to decorate the challahs with sesame, poppy, sunflower, and pumpkin seeds. We make our own homemade tahina and hummus. We put in hummus beans, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, and a bit of water if it's too thick. Everything we have is natural and healthy. I feed Pepsi, our cute little dog. Pepsi eats pieces of meat from our Friday night soup. He also gets to have special treats for Shabbat. My brother Halel feeds our parrots and gives them water. Sometimes I feed them when my brother's out playing and doesn't come home right away. We love having guests for Shabbat. I make the table bigger so there's enough room for everybody. I like to fold the napkins a different shape each time. Halal picks herbs from the garden for our Shabbat tea. I pick flowers and leaves from the garden. I love mixing different colors together. That's how my family gets ready for Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. It's so nice hearing from my friends. Rebbe Tzav! Hi girls, what's going on? We're supposed to bake challahs for the senior center before Shabbos. And our oven broke. And we don't know how to bake challah. And we need a ride. You girls need to bake challahs? No problem. I know just the person. Come on. Hello Rebbitson. hello girls. Tomorrow, Rudy. I hope we're not interrupting. Not at all, come on in. Great. To what do I owe this pleasure? Tamar, this is Eva, Chevy, and Ariella. Hi. We need some challahs, and I was hoping... Challahs? Perfect! I was just getting ready to bake some challahs, and I could use some helpers. You know anybody who might be interested? We oh, are! Yeah. Great! Get your hands washed up and meet me in the kitchen. 
Now the first thing we do is make sure we have all the ingredients. We've got 16 cups or two bags of sifted flour, one cup of oil, two cups of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, eight tablespoons of yeast, a quarter cup of honey, and five cups of water. You can put sesame seeds or poppy seeds on top. What about the egg? Excellent question, Ariella. The egg we're going to use later to make that shiny glaze on top of the challah. Hi there. Yeah, you. I'm going to give you the ingredients one more time. If you'd like to, you can press pause, copy them down. Okay, you got it? Great. But first, we're going to make the dough. We're going to make enough dough today to make four big challahs. Also enough to be able to do the mitzvah of taking off challah. But we'll be doing that a little later. Okay, now's when the fun starts. I've got my mixing bowl. I want you girls to put all the ingredients into the bowl. This is my quick and easy one bowl challah recipe. Good. Now the oil. Excellent. Nice and slow. Now the sugar, the yeast, and the honey. Don't forget the salt. That's right. Okay, now let's get mixing. But where's the mixing spoon? Ah, the mixing spoon. I've got some very special mixing spoons for you. They're the ones attached to your arm. You mean our hands? That's right. They do the best job. Ew. <laughs> wow, this is gooey. Oh yes, very gooey. Like this? Yeah, just kind of squeeze it and squish it around. How do you know when it's done? Well, when it's smooth and not lumpy anymore, then you know the dough is ready. It looks great. Now the next thing we do is cover it and let it rise for two and a half to three hours. Two and, two and a half to three, three hours? hours? Don't worry, don't worry. I know it's Arab Shabbos, and you girls have mitzvahs to do. And you don't want to sit there for three hours watching dough rise. That's why I'll use my handy dandy magic wand. Isn't that a soup ladle? Yes, Eva. My handy dandy magical soup ladle. Presto! Whoa! Okay, Tamar. Where'd you buy this? Hmm, I don't remember. But it was on sale. Now we have a very special mitzvah to do. Taking challah? That's right. The Torah tells us to take off a portion of our dough. We say a bracha, a blessing, and then we take off a piece about this big. Excellent. Now you take the piece of dough and we wrap it in aluminum foil. Then we put it in the oven and burn it until it's too burnt to eat. Now what? Now we get to braid our challahs. Each of you take your piece of dough and break it into three parts. Good. Now take each piece and roll it out. Not too skinny. Great. And now you take the one on the right and put it in the middle. And the one on the left, put it in the middle. And keep going. The one on the right in the middle, the one on the left in the middle, until you get to the end. And you give it a little pinch. And then you turn it around and do the opposite. And you pinch it on the end. And you've got a beautiful challah. Now we can take care of the glaze. We take our egg and mix it up and just brush some of that egg on top of your challah. This will give it a nice dark color. Beautiful. Now toppings? Sure. I'll take sesame. I'll take poppy. I think I'll leave mine plain. Always a good choice. Okay, should we get these into the oven? Yeah! These are beautiful. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 175 degrees Celsius. 
They'll bake for about 40 minutes. And voila, we've now made homemade challah. Delicious smell, something baking I can tell. Could it be our favorite treat? Homemade challah, love to eat. Challah, challah, sing it with me, la la la. Challah, challah, takes us through Havdalah. Raisin, poppy, sesame, every kind is good to me. Why we whole, we even spell. did a great job. Thank you, Mrs. Rudy. That was great. My pleasure. Thank you for your help. <laughs> what was that? That means it's time to do some chesed. Time to get up and help our friends. Because when someone has a need, it's up to us to take the lead. We gotta go do, we gotta go do, we gotta go do some chesed. Yes, we are. Hey, that reminds me. You girls are going to get to meet my grandfather. Really? Your grandfather's there? Uh-huh. He goes for a few hours each week. Okay, girls. We're here. Hi, Ribbits and Tap. Welcome back to Men of Ev. Girls, this is Shira. She works here as a volunteer. Shira, this is Chevy, Eva, and Ariella. Hi, girls. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, wow! Look at these beautiful colors! What a great mitzvah you girls did! Would you like to come in and say hello? Everyone would love to meet you! Yeah, yeah. sure! Great, come on in! This is our special senior center for memory-impaired elders. Memory what? Memory-impaired. Some of our babbies and zadies can't remember things the way that they used to. So we join here together several times a week for all sorts of fun things. We daven, sing, dance, bake, exercise, paint and so much more. Our elders partake in so many chesed projects. They help make up care packages for soldiers, meals for needy children, games for sick children. Would you like to come and see what they're doing now? Sure. sure. Come on in. Girls, this is Mrs. Dorothea. Dorothea made Aliyah from Toronto five years ago. This is such a beautiful colour. This, this is Mrs. B. Mrs. B is one of our favourite people here at Melabev. This is Mrs. Mona. Mona made Aliyah from Pennsylvania. 
Mm. I love what you're doing here, Mona. And girls, this is... Shira, I can introduce this person. Of course you can. This is my Grandpa Herman. <laughs> grandpa made Aliyah when he was 90. It's so important to help our elders feel special and feel honoured and feel loved. Even if they can't talk or respond like we can, just a smile, a hand to hold, reading to them, just being there, spending time. Now these are the precious gifts that we can give. Especially when I think of all that my grandfather's done for me throughout the years. Grandpa, you'll always mean the world to me. Yeah. Life gets better every minute the room gets brighter when you're in it when i'm feeling blue i just stick with you cause you'll always mean the world to me you and i are birds of a feather you help guide me in stormy weather and when i'm filled with doubt you make the sun come out Beautiful mitzvah. The chalas, the singing. Can we go back and visit sometime? Sure we can. Uh, is this the same way we took to get here? Yeah, there's nothing around here. Well, let's see what's down this road. Are you sure? I'll tell you what I'm not sure about. What? Whether there is a road! <laughs> Will you guys excuse me a moment? I just want to get out and get a lay of the land. Okay, we're just going to turn around and head the other way. No problem. What's going on? Would you just excuse me one more time? Okay. Take a deep breath. It's okay. 
just because we're in the middle of nowhere and the car won't start and it's getting close to Shabbos. No problem. Yes, it's a problem. Rabbit and Tab, it's going to be okay. Yeah. You always tell us that Hashem puts us in situations for a reason. And now it's to teach us not to lose hope, not to lose faith. You're right. That's exactly what we're doing here. To remember to have faith in Hashem and to know that we will get through this. Sometimes you don't know what to do. You've thought it all through. A rescue's overdue. Your head's filled with concern That's the time to learn To hold on to your faith Hope in your heart When times are hard You will get through Understand when everything you've planned is slipping through your hands. Sometimes it seems so hard to cope at the end of your road. Just never lose hope. What's all the singing about? Mrs. Zabrowski, what are you doing here? Don't you ladies have to get home for Shabbos? Why, yes, we'd like to, but our car won't start and we're... Oh, won't start? I never let a little thing like engine trouble get between me and Shabbos. I don't believe what I'm seeing. There we go. You did it. Would you mind giving me and my groceries a lift home? Of course, it's the least we can do. Groceries. I can't believe it. What? I forgot the soup nuts. Soup nuts? Did someone say soup nuts? Two for the price of one. Mrs. Zabrowski. I don't know how to thank you enough. Thank me? By always keeping this in your purse. Looks like you need it more than I do. Thank you so much, Rabbits and Chap, for all your help. My pleasure. Girls, we did a lot of mitzvahs today. And now, 
I gotta get my house ready for Shabbos. Do you need any help? I would love some help. Come on. Okay, we need a plan. Chevy, Ariella, you fold the laundry. Got it. Eva, you do the dishes in the sink. Got it. Okay, let's do it. Shabbos is almost here. You don't have the time to doze when you're folding all the clothes. Shabbos is almost here. This is not the time to plot when you're scrubbing out the pots. Shabbos is almost here. Gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta get ready. Shabbos is almost here. Gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta get ready. Shabbos is almost here. No delay. I'm home. Wow, looks great in here. Well, well, nice to see you relaxing for a change. You know, just a regular, ordinary Arab Shabbos. Thanks a lot for joining the Simcha with rabbits and tap and friends. We spread a smile, we spread some chesed And we hope you come back again We're so glad you met the Hevre It's Rabbits and Tap and Friends We sang a song, we learned some lessons 
and we hope you come back again. Having adventures all across the land, helping each other when we need a hand. Thanks a lot for joining the Simcha with rabbits and tap and friends. We spread a smile, we spread some chesed, and we hope you come back again.